Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another 3D printing project. So let's get cracking. Friends, we're going to be working with this awesome print in place car. Some of them, friends, have had the wheels snap off. What we're going to do is going to go back in and we're going to create a duplicate so that we can make a strategy to replace broken wheels. Before we get rolling, friends, let me show you how these turn out in real life. So there you can see prints all at once, spins really awesome. Now, as you can see, this is only about seven centimeters long, which is one of my rules in my class. So that way they print pretty fast. I can print one of these in about an hour. Now, what's amazing is I took that same design and I scaled it to 80% in Cura. And as you can see, it is working absolutely awesome. I love this creation. Speedy Machines, you absolutely crushed it. All right, everybody, if you have not seen this before, this amazing design was created by Speedy Machines. I've got a tutorial. There will be a link up above if you haven't built the tutorial. When you're done, you have this awesome 3D printable car, prints in place, and the wheels move if the wheels show up. Friends, what we're going to do is we're just going to make wheels that can be put together afterwards in case you have one that dies. It's just a shame to have such a sweet vehicle without wheels. Notice this is a copy, so I'm going to first rename it. I'm going to call it, I'm going to call it Pip Car, and this will be V9, and it'll just be the wheels. I'm going to delete my finished car because it just slows it down when it loads. I'm going to click on the body and I'm going to delete the body. So friends, this is our current wheel system. We've got this piece that I will unlock so that we can change it. I also had set it to transparent. You can see if I shut it off, that's how it really 3D prints. What I did, and I'll hide this for a moment, was I put three little cylinders in here to make these so they turned out a little bit stronger as they printed. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to bring all those back with the show. I'm going to click on this piece and I'm going to ungroup it. And all of a sudden I remembered that this is actually a part that we have got saved over here in my parts. If I click over here and switch to your creations, this is my sweet wheel that we built. So I have got to totally remake this. It only takes a minute though. I am going to hit delete. So I get rid of the old piece. So friends, this is how easy it is to make this wheel. Work plane, set it on that spot. Come back to your cone when we drop it out. We know those measurements from before are 6.5 and press enter. That matches the 13. I'm gonna use that exact same height of 6.5 and press enter. I do want them aligned. So I'm just gonna select them all, click align, make sure that the gear or the wheel is the boss and choose middle and middle. Don't forget if this middle over here doesn't make sense, look at it from a corner so you can see it better. Now friends, we can delete these pieces because we don't need them anymore. Remember, we are printing separate wheels. So I'm gonna click on this and I'm gonna hit delete. And then the piece that we're gonna put in is six millimeters. Now, if you've got something that's six millimeters, you can use this instead of printing this piece right here. I'm gonna make it black again so you can see it again by shutting off transparent. So this is the part we're talking about right here. I'm gonna try it with these pieces, but I'm also gonna build the separate part. So I'm going to put the work plane back on the ground. I'm going to bring out a cylinder hole. I'm going to hold down shift and stretch it to Crazyville. And then I know it needs to be six and press enter. That's how big the axle was. I'm going to make it a solid and then I'm going to change its height. We know that our vehicle was 36. I'm going to put 30 for this distance so it'll stretch plenty far. Notice it went down. I'm going to just hit D to drop. So this is my axle part. I am gonna change it to 60 for the sides. I am gonna put a bevel of two and I'm gonna change the segments to five so it should fit better when I press it in. All right, friends, so now we need to cut in where we're gonna place that part or the stick or a dowel if you've got a dowel. Control D, shift nudge to move it across. I do not want my hole to have the bevel, so I'm gonna set that back to zero. And then I also want it to be a tiny bit larger. So I'm gonna stretch it to Crazyville and then I'm gonna type 6.1 and press enter. I wanna line those up, click a line, make that the boss, do my center and my center, and I'm gonna raise it up two millimeters. Control up, control up. And then when I hit group, I will now have the wheel that's gonna be able to hold this peg. 
if we look in from the top, that looks pretty darn sweet. It cuts out. I'm going to control D, so there's two of those. All right, friends, let's nudge that out into space. Make sure we look at it from the top so there's a gap. I'll move this a little closer so it's faster for 3D printing. Let's select those three and let's hit export as an STL and save it so we can get it ready for 3D printing. So friends, here we are in Kira 5.1. I am printing them on my GE Tech A10T. Friends, about 13 minutes. Let's see how they turn out. There you have it, friends. The wheels are completed. And now we're just printing that axle. Show the results in just a few minutes. Alrighty, friends, so here is our test. This is the wheel and that peg I had. Let's see how they fit. Pretty darn snug. They're really snug in that hole, but I could sand them off if I wanted them better. And, boom, <laughs> we have got a fixed car. Now, I don't wanna keep this one in here, so I'm not gonna push it in all the way. I'm gonna instead switch. And let's try the 3D printed peg as well. And friends, there you have the 3D printed version. They do roll. They are a bit of a tight fit, but that is because I used two different printers. This was the ANET A8 Plus, and the wheel and axle was on the GEE Tech A10T. So I'm assuming that variation is what has got it a tiny bit tight. But they do work, which I think is pretty darn cool. So everybody, there you have it. Simple steps to make your own custom wheels if yours ever break off your print in place Tinkercad car. Friends, of course, don't forget the tutorial if you want to start it is in the cards above. Friends, don't forget if you're looking for ideas of what to create next, you can always visit hlmodtech.com. I have got the page dedicated to Tinkercad with tons of amazing lessons and also a sweet built-in messaging tool. Friends, you can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach out to me almost instantly. Friends, I do all also want to remind you up above there is the Tinkercad community discord. It is a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally friends if you enjoyed this video please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course if you've got a question, comment, or suggestion add it down below and if you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button and last but not least hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me. HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Thank you.